speak up. Okay, so let's start and all the best to everyone. So here is the first question on the board. So this must be easier to handle. You have seen this question already. In all these questions are related to which subject? Physics. So the first first equation. First equation u square plus 2as. What is u in that? U is initial velocity. What is a in that? Acceleration. And what is s? So the distance. distance. So what is the uh, assumption in this equation? Acceleration is constant. Acceleration is constant. So this particular equation holds true for which kind of motion? Linear Uniform motion. Yes, uniformly accelerated linear motion. Very good. Second equation is V is equal to U plus AT, right? And what is the third equation? Can anyone tell me? Sir, uh, S is equal to half ut. Sir, S is equal to ut plus half at square. No, no, no. Third, C. In this question, so C. Third, square minus half a equal to a. Guys, what is the period of a pendulum? What is that? Speed of the pendulum, no. Period of the pendulum, period. Speed of the pendulum. You know this equation was found out by whom? Any, any idea? No, sir. By root over L by G was given by a very famous person who invented the telescope. Who was that guy? No, who did that? Galileo Galilei. So he was uh, uh, in, in the church and uh, in the mass where he saw the chandelier move to and fro. And that's where he performed this experiment. Okay, very good. So lots of people know and why is the reason? What is the reason for this not being a polynomial? Pi. <laughs> because so it's pi. The ex exponent of the variable is not a whole number. Yes, very good. It's not because of pi. Those who are saying pi, that's not correct. It's because of the root. It's because of the root, right? Yes, not because of the pi. Okay, pi is very much allowed in any polynomial. Okay. Very good. So first leaderboard. I don't need to explain this, I guess, do I? So this was just a warming up, warming up question. Very good. Oh my God. Sriram has just, Sriram, within five milliseconds, he has answered it. Same goes with Nishant and then King Tony, North HSR, National Open School HSR, he goes to. Okay, anyways, so let's go to the next question. Which of the following statement is so there must be some easy questions also, no, so that you get trapped, isn't it? Sir, teach us how you trap. <laughs> you get trapped 20 times and you start, you start trapping others. Okay? So because then we can learn the art and then we can make sure to avoid the trap. Uh, the best way of learning is to make the mistakes, commit the mistakes yourself. You can't learn cycling by looking at someone else cycling. You have to cycle yourself and fall down. Isn't it? Okay, so okay, fair enough. So last ten, 
nine. Okay, here is the good. What is the result? Oh my God! Still, such an easy question. Sees that response is something which is disturbing, isn't it? So, right. So both the statements were actually true, and the question was not true. Which of the following statement is not true? Okay, and both the statements happen to be true. Okay, so none of them are not true statement, right? So the degree of f x is zero is not defined. You know that. Why is zero degree of f x equals to zero not defined? Because f x equals to zero can be zero times x to the power one million also, and zero times x to the power one trillion also. Which one should we take? Or billion also? Sorry. So there is no defined. Uh, right. So this is correct statement. All polynomials are actually algebraic expressions. So this is also correct statement. so both are true so where is the question of not being true so no no right so yes your accuracy now let me see accuracy 1 by 2 2 by 2 2 by 2 2 out of 2 1 by 2 see in the some people were so thrilled about being easy now you <clears throat> no easy means at times deadly See, only 14 people got the correct answer. It's such a small, easy. Yes, so that's the perennial issue. No one is reading the question properly. Okay, next. Here is the next question, guys. Yes, easy. Easy test is more tough. question was related to value of the polynomial okay so lots of x i can see in the list in the chat hmm but still most majority of you got it it was simple one so f of minus 1 will be simply 4 times minus 1 to the power 4 wherever there is x you have to simply replace it by the value Minus three minus one plus a minus one whole squared minus b minus one minus six and this is zero. It's given, right? So if you check, this is four plus three plus a plus b minus six is zero. So a plus b was minus one, right? So if you square, you will get one. So that means a plus b is equal to one upon a plus b. Yes or no? Was it so difficult? Was it so difficult? Was it so difficult? Right. So first one. Right. We didn't need any extraordinary 
knowledge only looking at the question would have helped you never mind so sir i misclicked the correct answer that's more dangerous unforced error is like more dangerous don't do that okay so very good king tony is on rank 1 very good all of you keep it up next question you must know different types of polynomial now so fx is a quintic polynomial and gx is a quadratic polynomial if degree of rx is 1 then degree of qx is basics of polynomial multiplication So what is quintic? Five. Wait, quintic is five. Oh yes. shit. Four is biquadratic or quartic. So what is six? Don't know. Hectic, heptic, octic, like that. <clears throat> okay. Chalo, very good. So it was five. So if you know, oh, uh, sad. The answer is three. So f x is five degree five. So x to the power five is here. Gx is quadratic, so it's square. So x to the power n plus this is something x to the power one, like that, isn't it? So hence, for LHS to match up with RHS, you must have a degree five term which will come from only this. So hence, n has to be three. Yup. So your yes. Anyone four on four? Four on four. These questions when it comes to you know ntscs and all that it will take take 5 seconds to solve not beyond that so you have to have to improve to that level okay sad that today there will not be any 100% correct anyone okay never mind here is the 3 on 3 that's still better push me 100% shivam srivastava you did not get it correct okay. Tony is ruling the show. Okay. Next. Be careful with your calculations. You have to only find number of zeros. You know what a zero is. Zero of a polynomial is that value which reduces the polynomial to zero. That where if that value of the variable which reduces the value of the polynomial to zero is called zero polynomial. Is called zero of the polynomial. Sorry. what that looks easy need not be actually easy don't go by 
don't go by appearance it's neither tough if you know what a zero of a polynomial is you will be able to solve it miss clicking is blunder don't play it at phone on phone play it on okay let me see oh uh, cool that is what i was expecting that's nice degree is equal to number of zeros yes correct degree is equal to number of zero very good so if you see this is a linear polynomial no it is not 3 because the power 3 terms are getting cancelled so you have to actually multiply this so if you see this is 2x cubed then minus 3x square just because there is a degree 3 term need not mean that it is a degree 3 polynomial you have to simplify this so 2x cube minus 3x square plus 4x and i told you how to simplify keep the same degree a uh, same order sorry a uh, same power terms together and uh, quickly write like this and then here you'll get 2x square and then you'll get uh, minus 2x cube and then you will get uh, minus x and then you'll get plus x square so i'll write plus x square and then Yeah, that's it. N plus two x square. So if you see, this goes. So, so. Yes, sir. Could we have replaced the values as well? Which values? So, like x equals to a value, and then try. No, never. So why? Because you have to values not helping you. You have to find out how much is the highest power of x in this case. So if you see, this all goes. These all gets cancelled. So only linear terms are left. So hence. One. It's a linear. If you simplify this, you'll get linear polynomial. So you, I knew that people will just see x cube, and they will mark it as three, and hence get it wrong. Okay, right. So are you? See, I, I do not have the intention of making you or you know, um, what do you say? I don't want to feel or make you feel bad. but you also need to learn where you are going to you know get stuck and get confused and mark wrong answers so that's the learning and the result shows it that you are too tempted to mark the answer see the top 5 and one more only 4 out of top 10 got the right answer okay only yep good next next question this you should be able to solve easy one but be careful with the signs options are closer you know how to find a zero we discussed in the class also well. hmm hmm right last 20 second guys very easy question i believe
Why? What happened, Aditya? Three, two, one, and no one. Oh my God! Oh, 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 oh. Lots of people are. Lots of people are making a mistake here. Why X? How many X? X X X. It was very simple. You had to simply factorize it and equate to zero. What is the zero of a polynomial? That value of x which which makes the polynomial itself zero. So this is zero. Okay. So if you see, you can factorize it like this: three root three minus two root three x plus eighteen. So mix of previous grade or not previous grade, previous uh, chapter. This thing as well, isn't it? So hence you can take x common. And you'll get x minus 3 root 3, and you'll take minus 2 root 3 common, and you'll get x minus 3 root 3, right? Is equal to zero. So if you factorize it, you'll get x minus 3 root 3, and x minus 2 root 3. This is the factorization, and this is equal to zero. You have to find those values of x which reduces this to zero. What are the possible values of x which reduces it to zero? So you have to equate each one of them separately. And you would have got that. So x is either three root three or x is two root three. So this question required knowledge of knowledge of factorization. Have you not done this kind of factorization? Yes. No. No unnecessary talk. Class class affair in the class in school. Leave everything in school. Talk about problems here. Screen share is glitching a bit. Why? Is it is it fluctuating or something flickering? Sir, it's extremely okay. slow. What is slow? The screen share, like it takes like some two no, minutes to reach the next slide. No, it isn't. Is it for me? It is. Maybe because of the internet or something like that. Sir, it's fine. It's lagging a lot. Me, it's lagging a lot. Screen is lagging. Yes, sir, it's lagging a lot. It's fine, sir. Let me see the results a lot later. In again. Oh, is it? So shall I reshare? Wait. So, so I think in, uh, it's my it's my problem. So it's my internet. Okay, let me let me stop sharing and share again. Okay, let me see. Okay. Started sharing once again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Is that fine now? We'll see. Anyways, next leaderboard. Oh, only one, two, three, four in top. Good. Nice. Tanya, is this Tanya C? Ayanar, is it T C? TC. Oh, TC. Good transfer certificate. Very good, Tanya. Right, and then Pratham Big Foot Nafil. Oh, you have so so big foot. A square INR. Who is this gentleman? Sir, Or it's me. Me means Narendra Modi. Aditya. Oh, Aditya. Oh, and who Aditya? I I P R Y P R Namrudan Abhi Bharat and Anish. Anish is which? Which is cool, Anish Nafil. Okay, good, nice. Next question, guys. Twenty twenty is back with twenty nineteen. It will stay for another six months.
I like I love every year very much. So next year you will see 2021 not many times. Especially these PRMO RMO they will give you something related to 2020. So what is the or 2021? So what does this mean? What is the message that the number actually doesn't have much of a significance? Now that I have told you the catch. Don't omit it. Remember it. One thing is for sure, you will give examples of this year to your next generation. Chalo, very good. So, cool. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Mm. Still not many people are getting correct answer. Remainder theorem, direct application. No, nothing needed. Remainder theorem was needed in this. So, remainder theorem. So, fx is equal to x to the power 20, 20 minus 4x 20, 19. Right? So, remainder is simply nothing but f minus 1. F minus 1 is the remainder, isn't it? So hence it is minus 1 to the power 20, 20. Minus 4 times minus 1 to the power 20, 19. Now don't tell me that it is difficult to calculate the power of this thing. So this is 1 minus and plus 4. Because minus 1 to the power 20, 19 is odd. So it will be minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 4 is plus 4. So 1 plus 4. Okay, yes, let me see your accuracy rates now. Write your accuracies, all of you. 6 by 7, very good. 4 by 7, 5 by 7, 1 by 2, 4 by 7, 1 by 2, 5 by 7, 6 by 6. Who's 6 by 6? 9 by 6, Path Jan. You are from some other world. Uh, 9 by 6, uh, sorry, who got 6 by 6? 17 by 17, this is like... Be serious guys, no such spamming. Okay, uh, very good. Chalo, next question. None of none of you are on 100%. 7 attempted and 7 correct. So we need to reflect on this. Mm. Okay, Vihan, Pratham, King, Tony came third, Tanya, Roshan, Shivam, A Square, Rutvik, and Kaveri. Kaveri is a new entrant. Very good. Next question. If F0, F1, and F2 are all zero, then the polynomial fx can be Okay, so I hope you would have done this correctly. Ta -da. Oops. 
Okay. 18 people have said x square minus 3x plus 2. Sir. Yes, sir. I was not able to choose the option at all. It's still stuck in the option screen, and it's showing I have time and it's stuck in the same screen. Bharat, is it? Yes, sir. Sorry, Bharat. You can't really help in that. You know, you have to just reload. At times, it gets stuck. Yeah. No problem. You you uh, marked it correct. Did you? Yes, right sir. Option? I wanted to Very mark B. Yes, sir. So F zero is so you know so you know the moment zero F zero is zero by factor theorem x minus zero will be a factor of polynomial f x whatever this f x is x minus zero similarly x minus one will also be a factor and x minus two will also be a factor right so hence this would be the polynomial isn't it right so This was the answer. Raga, what was that symbol? What is that? Did you understand this? How to, how did I get this, guys? Clear or not? Is that clear? Hello. Yeah. Anyone is saying anything? No, it can't be B because there are three zeros. That means there are the degree has to be three. So. Yeah. So will we have true false today? Yes. So what it works is well. So for me, this question and the last both the question just says my answer is wrong when I click the same the correct answer. Did you did you get the right answer? Yes, sir. I clicked on the right. Answer. No problem. Just mark that accuracy which I am monitoring. I am just monitoring your accuracy. Nothing else. So could you please explain it once again? Once again. So, let go. If wait, yeah. If we have a, you know, by factor theorem. What is factor theorem? Factor theorem says that if you have a polynomial f x, if you have a polynomial f x, okay, then x minus a will be a factor, right? X minus a will be a factor. Of f x, if f of a is zero, right? This is what we learned, isn't it? Now, if f of zero is equal to zero, that means x minus zero was a factor of that f x. similarly if f of 1 was also zero that means x minus 1 was also a factor of fx and since f2 is also zero then x minus 2 was a factor or is a factor of fx that means there are three factors for sure okay so fx is x minus 0 Times x minus one times x minus two. This was f x. Okay, so hence if you multiply this, this is nothing but x times x square minus three x plus two. Hence x cube minus three x square plus two x. Now did you understand? Yes, the person who asked the question. Okay, so let's see who is so, where. So, so, hello. Oh yes. Yeah, sir. Um, if you calculate for C, doesn't it work as well? Yes, it does work for. I was just. Who is this? This sir, this Pratham. Yes, it does work for C as well. So did you mark C? I marked C. No mind. So you can count that as in C as well. Okay. Chalo. So Vihan is now on top. So I was just waiting if someone picks up that or not. So only Pratham could pick. Good. Nice. Okay. So let's go to the next one. But since Pratham, there was only three factors, so hence you can't have. But yes, equal factors can be counted. No worries. Do this. Very simple. So all the questions will be linked to previous 
chapters as well. Tanya, what is meant by division? Division. Division, division, division. Remainder theorem, factor theorem, whatever theorem, all are linked together. So factor theorem, remainder theorem are same. Okay, very good. So most of you could do it. It was a very simple question. I don't know. Uh, you had to just simply, you know, factorize this part fx was simply 1 minus x 1 plus x and 1 plus x to the power 4 okay so if you divide this thing by 1 plus x or x plus 1 what will be the remainder what will be the remainder if you divide this this gets cancelled right so hence remainder is 0 ok got it anyone wants more explanation to this this was see 10 seconds not even 10 seconds yep right so this one very good let's see the result good but still people are making mistakes Taking time, 9.70, who are the fastest? Harita was fastest, great, good, she took 9 something, 70 seconds, milliseconds. Chalo, next question guys, on screen. If px cube plus pq x square minus 36 x plus 20 leaves the remainder 0 when divided by x minus 1 and 2 to the power q is equal to 128 to the power p, then guys, no cross talk, no cross talk, please. Dhruv, refrain, solve questions, please. Everything related to the question on the board. Let's discuss this out and the varieties of it. Paying attention and getting good score in Kemon. All are linked. If your accuracy is not 100%, you should be disturbed. But why is it that so? And we need to work for that. So try to improve that one instead of talking about tangential stuff. Pranav is always around some gang. Hmm? What is this gang stuff? Gang is a negative word. Use some good word. Team maybe. Disturbed team. Gang. So Pranav, gangster. <laughs> Disturbed boys. Boys. Okay. Hmm. So, but you only told you were part of a math gang. No, I, I told you I was a part of a group which was named Bajrang Dal. <laughs> it was Dal, not Gain. Great Bharat. Good. Something wrong in question? Let's see. 23 people have got it correct. That's nice. Very good. Okay. Yes. Again, no spamming. Then, guys, doesn't look good. No, no, don't copy paste stuff. On chat, I am continuously looking for who was who's say, who's saying X. Tanya says X, 
anyone else okay so dekho x minus 1 that means what does factor Correct. theorem say i'm sorry yeah so when divide by x minus 1 what does it mean it means that f of 1 will be 0 by factor theorem because it leaves the remainder 0 when divided by x minus 1 so f of 1 must be 0 what is f1 f1 is p plus q minus 36 plus 20 and this is 0 that means p plus q is equal to 16 isn't it p plus q is 16 also 2 to the power q so exponent revision Division of exponent 2 to the power q is 128p. 128p means 2 to the power 7p, right? Isn't it? So hence q is equal to 7p. Q is equal to 7p. Now if q is equal to 7p, you can deploy it in this equation and write p plus 7p is equal to 16. So 8p is equal to 16. That means p is equal to two. The moment p is seven p. I'm sorry. How did you get seven p? Two to the power q is equal to two to the power seven p. When will that be possible? So the base is same. Exponent has to be same in an equation. So two to the power two to the power x is equal to two to the power two. That means x is equal to two. Is it? Here same ways q is equal to seven p. Because the base is same, so q is equal to 7p. So the moment I get q is equal to 7p, I put p plus 7p is 16. So I got p is equal to 2. If p is 2, q has to be 14. Why? Because sum of p and q was 16. So 2 into 14 was what we needed to find out. P q 28. Bolo. Anyone wants more explanation? Anyone wants? Menti code is here. Nine six seventy two four. So this time the thing which shows the time didn't even appear on my screen. What didn't appear? Time, huh? Yeah. So that bar, that bar thing that shows the time. Oh, it didn't come in your screen. Mm. You're uh, you're on a PC. Yes, sir. Oh, oh I don't know. You're on a um, what? What is that? Chrome, right? Yes, sir. It should not because I am also using the same thing. I am using Chrome, and I am you know, whatever is there. The same thing I am also using. Maybe some. Maybe some. Maybe some. Never mind. Chalo. No, I, you know your answer and your solution, right? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Kahoot is to to you know to put in equations over there becomes very difficult. Okay. Chalo. Next. Yeah, quiz is the same. Very, very elementary. Okay. So, what is a factor? You again use factor theorem. A factor x if if x minus one is a factor. Then f of one is zero. That's the knowledge. We use the same thing. If x plus a is a factor of f x and g x as well, so hence can we get two relationship and then solve for it. Options are so close, but it's not that hard. 
<clears throat> you don't need to no option was very straight forward very very clear oh my god oh my god that means see if i solve it you will say how easy x plus a now all of you i must ask you okay now no chat there no chat you are if you are missing out only nine people getting it correct is a point of concern all of you now pay attention to the screen and tell me if any of the step is not understood by you now x plus a is a common factor stop chatting all of you i'll ask and then start hold 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 now x plus a is a common factor that means f of minus a will be zero do you agree say why do you agree say why f of a will f of minus a will be zero similarly x plus a is a factor of gx so do do you agree for this as well g of minus a dhruv says how okay x plus a is a factor dhruv factor theorem what is factor theorem factor theorem if x minus a is a factor of fx then fa is zero yes or no right so if instead of x plus a i would write so instead of x minus a x plus a is a factor then f of minus a will be zero is that understood dhruv clear or any doubt right so f minus a is zero g of minus a is zero so if i put f of minus a you will get what a square plus p a plus q is zero and similarly a square plus l a plus m is zero yes or no both are zero that means a square plus p a plus q is equal to a square plus l a plus m both are zero this goes a square and a square goes if you take a common you will get p minus l and you will get m minus q what was confusing so a is m minus q upon p minus l right not possible right then p minus l is in the denominator so not possible right only this p minus q cannot be together p and l were together so not possible bolo sir but m and q the other way i'm sorry yes no problem so take minus sign common so can I, can i not write this as now this is this much is the trap no same thing right if you take minus common from both top and bottom so i have written 5 upon 7 isn't 5 upon 7 equal to minus 5 upon minus 7 both are same right so hence if you see this is nothing but same as m minus q by l minus p now become very very comfortable and familiar with all these tricks how to take minus sign and all that okay clear let's see but only nine people got it correct so that's not very see lot of people have got it wrong okay only one person pratham very good pratham nice good and he is on first position next question
So when are the true and false questions starting? In 2020. Who's this? <laughs> Who asked me this question? Aditya asked for me. Uh, true and false questions are starting on June 23rd, 2020 at 8.52 and 30 seconds. <clears throat> okay, last 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very, very easy question. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, good. Maximum number of people are correct. That's good. Okay, what happened? So this was not to be confused. This was nothing but if you take x to the power 5 as y, simply. So what will happen? This entire thing becomes y to the power 10 plus 1 is divided by y plus 1. Right, y to the power 10 plus 1 is divided by y plus 1. So it will be, let's say this is fy. So by remainder theorem, remainder will be simply f of minus 1. Right, what is f of minus 1? So put minus 1 wherever y is there. So minus y, minus 1 to the power 10 plus 1, which is equal to 2. So 2 is the fy, yeah. f of y. So you have assumed x to the power 5 to be y. Right? You didn't understand once again, the coach. No problem. Please understand these these type of problems will be very very. So x to the power 50 plus 1 fx1 say it in fx. Yeah. Then next is uh, you are dividing this by x to the power 5 plus 1. Right? You are dividing this by x to the power 5 plus 1. What does it mean? So if you consider x to the power 5 to be y, okay, so what will this function become is equal to y to the power 10 plus 1, isn't it? Why? Because x to the power 5 to the power 10 plus 1 is y to the power 10 plus 1. So function in y is this. Right now, if you are dividing this by y plus 1, divide this by y plus 1, what will be the remainder by remainder theorem? It will be simply f of minus 1 so hence it is minus 1 to the power 10 plus 1 minus 1 to the power 10 is 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is the remainder did you get it now all of you got it yes or no confirm yes get yes one? sir okay great now get ready for the for the what True and false. Eight seconds to answer. Five questions. Okay. Okay. Two and false. Five questions. Eight seconds to answer. And anything from previous chapters will also be there. Okay. Here you go. Already. Already. Within two three minutes it will be over. So all of you ready? Yes. Confirm. Right. Confirm. Confirm. Why? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yes, we start it here. First question. Very fast, okay. Let me see. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. What? Sum of two irrational number is always irrational number. No, not necessary. Sum of two irrational numbers need not be right. Root two minus root two is yes, correct. So hence, all all people, please correct your knowledge. So you ask for sum, right? Sum of two, yes, right? So then, uh, the person, uh, the other person, the other person wrote root two minus root two. Yeah, so of like plus minus root two. Now you get it? Yeah, but okay. Okay, sum difference is a form of sum. Is that okay? 
Yeah. Right. Very good. Next. Subtraction is a kind of addition only. We're adding negative negative thing to something. Okay. Anyways, so this is your first. Number of roots of a given polynomial is equal to the degree of fx. This should be correct. Hmm. Most of you have got it correct. Yes, it is indeed number of any types of root. It can be complex root also, no problem. But then number of roots will be equal to degree of polynomial. Remember this next leaderboard. Hmm. So lots of shuffle shuffling happens in the last five questions. Okay, chalo. Let's see. Okay, next question. It gives you some extra time to read the question also. So, okay, this should be very very easy. Oh my God! Oh no! Why? So I click for. So it's not, so it's not a polynomial. Right? I'm sorry. So it's not a polynomial. Not a polynomial. Right? Not a polynomial. So I click false, but says I'm wrong. Just a minute. Um. Uh, yeah. So the question was this. X is a polynomial of degree one. It's false, right? So what is the answer? False only. It's not a polynomial. Do you get that? Is it a polynomial? So when I click false, oh, that that's a glitch maybe. But then this is a, it's a false statement, right? There's no. It's not a polynomial only. Okay, next. Now, good. Next question. Right. Why did you Why did you think it's a degree six? At max, so what was the degree? degree eight, right? So that looks like z. Sir. It's two. Come on, it doesn't look like z by eight by any chance, is it? X squared times two to the power four. So even I thought it was z. So the question didn't even come for me. It's a two. Come on, this is two. Does it look like z? Z. Even I thought it was z. Z looks it like. It clearly this. looks like two. It looks like that. Z. z is this. And it looks so like two, but we were trying to answer really fast, and we tried the to. The question didn't even come to me. So it looks like that. Anyways, chalo. So this is the answer. This was two to the power four times x square. Only the order was changed. So degree was five. Okay. Never mind. Oh. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Cool. Last question of the evening, guys. Ready? And it's here. Right? Okay. And the answer was oh again, <laughs> right? Why all zeros of this two x are not integers? Yes, they are not integers because one is half. If you see one zero is x equals to one, and another zero was two x minus one is equal to zero, so x is equal to half. 
okay so all zeros are not integers true okay did you understand did you understand all of you got it Clar any clarification needed for this so now you know after this session how to find out zeros equate the equation or the polynomial to zero factorize it try to find out zeros okay then we learned about factor theorem remainder theorem where to apply the questions will not be that straight forward and uh, uh, and, and what else learning is again in this question which all question was this is y to the power minus 1 this is not a polynomial right then this is a fact we already know this one sum of two irrational numbers may be 0 okay when x to the power 50 plus 1 is divided by this so this is where this power was troubling you so now you know how to solve such kind of problems and yep all all yeah any question any problem any of the problem in any of these questions okay so final leaderboard of the evening very good so vihan maintains the lead very good and uh, congratulations to you then square inr anish then srijan ghosh mr shivam sirvastwa bigfoot who has krishna vignesh kaveri and harita congratulations guys well done keep it up and yes but before you leave your accuracy please accuracy this is all okay accuracy 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 please 11 by 17 okay how many questions did you get right today 13 by 16 okay good 12 by 17 12 by 17 12 by 17 15 by 17 very good aditya 15 by 17 14 by 17 14 by 17 12 15 okay cool 12 by 17 11 by 17 14 by 17 14 11 no problem no problem very good so I mean try to maintain that beyond 90% guys so 17 means as you know you must get more than 15 correct all of you all of you should get more than 15 correct then only okay fair enough so see you again tomorrow in the class bye bye take care and tomorrow is a assignment time as well thank you sir amazing quiz thank you if you have not done thank the you, assignment sir. please please thank do the you, assignment bye 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 so what was that thank assignment you, sir, amazing quiz that's mentioned in the mock group. Please check. Take care. So math Take related. Care. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. 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 Bye.